Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be going over our insert at method. Now what the insert at method does is it inserts a node at a certain position. So here we just have our link list. We have our header pointing to the first node, tail pointing to the last node, and size is equal to four because there are four nodes within our linked list. Now these numbers in here represent the position. So this is position one, two, three, or four, or you could consider them as indices. So from here, let's take a look at case one. So case one is to check to see whether or not we're inserting at a valid position. So if the position is less than one, we're not gonna insert it into our linked list. And then the reason being is that we're gonna start at position one. Now the second criteria for case one is whether or not the position is gonna be greater than size plus one. So why is this size plus one and not size is equal to four? Well, size plus one is just position five. And I could easily achieve that by calling the append method, which adds to the back of the list. So if I try to insert at position six, we're gonna call that an invalid position. So now let's take a look at case two which I pretty much gave away, is what happens if the user wants to insert at the end of our list? Well, all we need to do is compare the size plus one. So if the size plus one, in this case, that would give us five. If the user passes in the position of five, all we're gonna do is call in the pen method. All right, so from here, let's go on to case three. What happens if the user wants to insert at the front of our list? Well, we already know how to solve this problem. So if the position is equal to one, all we're gonna do is call our prepend method. And again, we're using our prepend method and our append method because they take care of our header and tail pointers for us. So they'll automatically update what header's pointing to and what the tail's pointing to. So now let's move on to case four. So now let's say instead of adding to the front of the list or the back of the list, Let's say I wanna to add to position two or three. So for this example, I'm gonna choose position three. So the very first step is we need to create a node that we wanna insert within our list. So now that we have the node that we wanna insert, we're going to have to get the pointer from the previous node, right? So this node, position two, is gonna to have to point to N, and then N is gonna to have to point to position three to preserve the linked list. So in order to do that, we're gonna to have to traverse the list. So by traversing the list, we're gonna need help. So we're gonna need two pointers. We're gonna need a pointer to the previous node, and we're gonna need a pointer to the current node. Now current is gonna be initialized to point to whatever header is pointing to, which is gonna be the first node. And since there are no previous nodes yet, we're just gonna declare our previous pointer. So now we need to traverse the list and we're gonna execute a loop in order to do that. So the first step, prev is gonna be pointing to what current is pointing to. Then we're gonna to have to advance what current is pointing to, to the next node within the list. Then the loop executes again. Prev is gonna be pointing to what current is pointing to. And then current is gonna be pointing to the next node within the list. Now, this is where we stopped. Why? Because we wanna insert at position three. So from here, let's think of this logically. We wanna insert N at position three. And who has a pointer to position three? Well, Prev has a pointer to the node that has a pointer to position three. So what I wanna do is have Prev's node point to N. And I could do that by saying prev arrow next is gonna point to n. But now that we did that, look what happened to our link list. Our link list is broken now because we have position one, two, and then n, which is the new position three. But now we lost these two nodes. So now n has to find a way to point to the previous position three. Well, who has a pointer to the previous position three? current has a pointer to that node. So now I could just say n arrow next is gonna be pointing to current. So you can see from here that we successfully inserted n at position three and we maintained our linked list. 
So now all that's left to do is actually increment the size since we inserted a new node. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this in code. All right, so from here, you can see we have our insert at method. It's returning nothing, so it's void. And we have our two parameters here. The first parameter in position is gonna be the position where we wanna insert our newly created node. And int data is the data that we're gonna to use to call the one argument constructor for our node class. All right, so now let's move on to case one. Check if it's a valid position being passed in. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna say if the position is greater than size plus one, and remember it's size plus one and not size because size plus one can easily be achieved by using the append method. So if the position is greater than size plus one, it's invalid. Or if the position is less than one, it's also invalid. And it's invalid because position one is gonna be our starting point position. So all we're gonna do is just gonna return. All right, so now let's move on to case two check if the insertion is at the beginning of the list. So that's pretty simple. So I'm just gonna come down here, else if position is equal to one, which means I wanna insert at the beginning of the list, then all I'm gonna do is call the prepend method. All right, so from here, let's move on to case three. Check if the insertion is at the end of the list. Well, that's pretty simplistic. So I could just come down here and say, else if, the position is equal to size plus one. And the reason why it's size plus one and not size is because let's say I have four nodes. If the position is equal to five, that means I could easily achieve this by just calling the append method. And that will insert that node into position five. So now let's move on to the last case, all other cases. Now I could use an else statement here, but just to triple check everything, I'm gonna say else if the header does not equal to null. Now the first step here is obviously to create the node that we wanna insert within our linked list. Now the second step, remember we need two pointers, a pointer to the previous node and a pointer to the current node. And we're gonna use these pointers when we traverse through our linked list. And if you see here, you can see that prev does not get initialized to anything, it's just declared. And that's because we have no previous nodes to point to yet. And current is gonna to point to whatever header is pointing to. So now let's write the loop. So I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna say four int i is equal to one because that's our starting point. While i is less than the position, I'm just gonna say i plus plus. Now first, we need to save what current is pointing to. So prev is gonna be pointing to what current is pointing to. And then current is going to advance to the next node. Now from here, it's gonna kick us out of the loop and prev is gonna be pointing to the previous node and current is gonna be pointing to the current node. So now I could just come down here and I could say prev arrow next is gonna be pointing to n and n being the node that we wanna insert, but now n needs to point to what current is pointing to. And the last step, all we need to do is increment the size. So I'm gonna go down to our main method and let's actually test this out. So I am just gonna remove the remove at, and I'm gonna say list.insert at, and let's insert at position two. And we're gonna insert the value of 10, for example. So now I'm just gonna save this. Let's bring up the terminal. I'm gonna change to my desktop. Let's compile it. And now let's execute it. And you can see that 10 gets inserted at position two. So I'm not gonna test the position at position one or the last position 
because those just use the prepend and append method. So that pretty much wraps it up for the insert at method.